Hey guys, welcome back to our live reaction for Genji Chuchu Giyusa episode 11. I'm Helsin, joining me is Kari. Hello! Uh, right, let's start in 3, 2, 1, go! Ah. Were we here last episode? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When they defeated the battleship, but the king here entered the fortress, right? Okay. By the way, I double checked with uh, the original source, which is, I think, the light novel. Yeah. Apparently, the characters do look more like the light novel. The manga was just a bit more exaggerated. I thought it was the other way around, but okay. I guess the anime follows the uh, novel then instead of the manga, which I guess makes sense. Like, Licia is relatively flat instead of the manga, but she looks like she has like a, I don't know, J cup, pro no, no, like D cup, C cup. <laughs> it looks different, okay? <laughs> How about uh, the lion, lion guy? Actually, yeah, I should go check what's his face. Mm -hmm. Okay. How is it? He looks similar. Slightly less uh, imposing, probably, I should say. Because there aren't as many uh, wrinkles on his face, but that's about it. From the light novel. He looks relatively similar to the manga. Other than that very weird tiny head in the opening, honestly. I'm very amazed that tiny sword is able to like hand handle the weight of that claymore. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so the wings are only for gliding down. I'm hoping in this final arc we'll be able to see the, the other recruits too. Uh, Tomoe, Akuya, uh, what's his name? The good guy. See them what, sorry? What job? The other recruits. Uh, we should. I think most of them are still fighting. No, the, the Forbidden Army is in front of George Carmines, but... I don't know about the rest of them, actually. I don't know about Hakuya, Poncho, and Tomoe. I think yeah. Tomoe was with the helping out of the animals, right? Supplies and shit. Yeah, but if we are not going to assist just behind the scene, then we are not going to see her at all. I mean, I guess.
Wow. Okay. Well, well, that would make sense though, because her father is pretty uh, unresponsible for just handing hand, handing down the throne and then doing nothing in the meantime. Whoa, 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 what an entrance there. Okay, where's the color? The color is on... Uh... Yeah, but it, it disappeared just now. No, it was still there, right? I guess it just, like, didn't really show because of the... His uniform look. Ah, here too, okay. Carla basically doesn't change between anime, manga, and light novel. Although, I don't know if that's because the armor that actually accentuates her boobs, or if it hides them. I don't think I've seen Carla out of armor yet. I'm just throwing the prison at the moment, then. Yeah, so what I called last episode is correct. The, the Air Force that was in front of Duke Carmine's place was already under the Forbidden Army. But, uh, what's his name? Is the king going to fight the Iron Man? I don't know. I mean, he didn't fight the... Or he's going the... to go back to help the... I forget everyone's name. The water dragon lady. What? What are you trying to do, Alicia? He will be just under martial law. Oh. Doesn't look like 100, huh? I mean, it looks like I mean, about 50, probably. Yeah, maybe the the numbers vary heading... from frame to frame. <laughs> yeah, the other 50, maybe they're uh, heading to the lineman place. I mean, this is the lion place, isn't it? It's right in front. And then it's the water, water dragon lady's place? No, no. Oh, oh, maybe the other 50 is going to the water, water ladies. Yeah, probably. Because the water lady is like somewhere different from here. This is the one in front of Duke Carmine's place. Wow, how dare you? Off with his head! You mean one of us? This yeah. dragon lady is not one of you. Again, Beowulf's head looks a bit too big. See, Carmine's head here looks normal. In the opening, it just looks like too tiny. Oh, 
now. So those are beards now. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Oh! Hey, what's going on here? We're not seeing stuff. Yeah, I don't Hello. know why they're not showing that. Wait, what part? It's a rebellion? And then parts those corrupt official? That's it? Yeah, you'll see in a bit. This actually like well well explained oh. afterwards. Uh, how does the slave color works again? If it gets too far, just slice off the head? Uh I think it's like uh if you try to do anything against whoever the slave color is assigned to uh your head will explode the the color will explode in your oh. day, basically and you can't actively try to uncolor yourself either i'm to get wasted I should be. Ah, oh, they're explaining it good. Okay.
Why is his mustache not center? It's not just me, right? Do you see that? It's to match the scar on his eye. It's just too weird. <laughs> or maybe it get cut off along with the scar on his eye. Okay, it looks relatively center here. It was just illusion, optical illusion then. <laughs> Wait, who's, who's girl? Uh, who is Georg? Oh, George Carmine. It's oh. the lion guy. It's Georg Carmine or George Carmine, depending on where you see it, I guess. It's not quite clear because the katakana is Georgu. So it's like either it reads Georg or George, depending on. Just know as long as he said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I always thought it was George Carmine, but I guess it's different. Mm -hmm. This is kind of bad for the fly the Air Force Army then. Yeah, but they never intended for the Air Force Army to join Carmine's side in the first place. That was the problem. But they can't say it out loud. So that uh, so that the entire plan wasn't like shown to the rest of the world either. So they have to like keep silent about it. I mean, well, well, they're technically not rebelling because they're playing along with the state's play. But if it's a reality, then they are staging a real rebellion. They they basically are staging a real rebellion. Yeah. It was just, you know, the rebellion was planned. I mean, well, the Carmine might be pardoned for this, because this is uh, his no, he's plan not for such and such. He's not gonna, because if he is, uh, then... Oh. Because the, the, the rest of the people still only knows that he did stage a rebellion. Yes. What? Dragon Lady is a trap? Go away. <laughs> Don't falter, it's just one young guy. That has got to be the shortest civil war in history. It's only like one night. <laughs> Wait, prince, not king? Which one is he talking about? The armor guy or this states guy? I'm pretty sure it's the armor guy, because I'm pretty sure the white suit guy is called Julius instead of Gaius. I'm pretty sure. Oh wow! Well, too late for that if they are sending the Air Force country history. Well, the Air Force only 100 dragons, so 
I doubt the Air Force will be able to take care of the entire kingdom. What? Already? Wait, they're not gonna show it? Just gonna tell that, oh, people are dying and that's it. Hey, show us the map! Think you remember which one is Ursula Mountain? I have no idea. I don't think we've seen the map between the, the, the territory either. Also, why won't you use light arrows? No, those, are, those are just so we can see the arrows. <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean... Oh, that one in the middle has tits. Oh, the boulders. Ah, it's Juna. Why do you need to un you, you feel the need to unmask yourself? So you can have a dramatic unmasking effect, obviously. Also, 30,000 to 15,000. Wow. With only the arrows? I'm amazed. Probably they do something else. Okay. Well. Wait, how, how do you, oh, okay, never mind. Okay, so Gaius is not the king, he's only a prince. Much confused, I thought he was the king. I thought he was the king too. I'm gonna go check on the wiki now. Told you, we still have one more episode of Apparently the Apparently, he has the crown prince of the Principality of Amidonia. He's like 50 years old, right? Yeah, yeah. How old's the king? Like 70? Uh -huh. Apparently, despite being called crown prince, he is the ruler, though. Uh, so the king is still alive somewhere, right? I guess that's a bit like Soma, where he's like just oh, uh, a prince in thing, but like he he is the ruler kind of deal. I don't know. Uh, I'm just reading quickly through the. A wiki, and apparently the king is dead, so he is supposed to be king, but he's, his title is still crown prince for some reason, it's weird. I don't know. The uh, fraction is divided between him and that little girl. <laughs> uh, mm, that little girl is his daughter, though. Yeah, but people like the little girl more than her father. Are you telling me the entirety of Amidonia are lolicons? As well. <laughs> well, um, is it a bit sad that despite us finally getting to war, there's barely any war in this? I thought they will drag it down. Uh, I thought they will actually play it well until next episode. Uh... Like, <laughs> the civil war has finally started one and a half day later. The civil war has finished, excuse me? <laughs> we are now declaring war against Amidonia. We will now advance towards Van. Next scene we see, ah uh, yes, uh, 
Amidonian army get ambushed and we saw like two frames. It was actually way more dire than they told us, by the way. In the manga, uh, the the valley was being ambushed. They were being ambushed at. They were being shot at by arrows. And then the road was very muddy, so the horses can't get past. They literally told the footmen to walk forward, and as they fall on the muddy ground, they told the cavalry to advance using the fallen footmen as stepping. So they can like actually get past the muddy ground. That was that was how they actually managed oh. to get through the thing and the ambush, but they also oh, lost so. like a lot of people. And yeah, so like that was a lot harsher than them just going, Oh yeah, they got ambushed and they lost fifteen thousand people. <laughs> like shit was dire and then they didn't show it here. So I was like, why wouldn't you show that? <laughs> this is like uh, the important bits and the actiony bit of the war, and then they didn't show it. I'm so confused, but yeah, whatever. I guess it is a bit different. Also, actually, there was a bit more um, between the Amidonian army coming in. I don't remember if it was before or I think it was before Altomura. They started getting into the Elfred Raiden kingdom. Uh, you remember Soma had a adventure with the yeah with with the adventures guild group guys. Oh, you mean the sewer investigation group? Yes, that one. In the manga, they didn't have that, but they did have uh the people of uh, the Amidonian army coming in, and then the adventure group met the met the army and then tried to retreat and then soma as the giant doll thing met them again there kennedy so like in the manga i was like who the hell are these people i have never seen them and then in the anime it's like oh we've seen these people and then they were never brought up again so i was like why this it's so weird. I assume the <laughs> light novel would have both, right? But here it shows one and not the other, while the manga was the other way around. So both versions are basically incomplete. It's so. I don't get it, but whatever. Yeah, uh, that's this episode. The, the war has started, the war has finished, and now we're on to the next war. We can only hope this one will be more actiony than the last one we have. Anyway, that's it for this week, and we'll see you guys next week. Goodbye.